welcome back to the show. Today I want to go over how to check oil pressure properly in your 5.4 liter three valve engine. Now the reason why I go over this engine and not other engines is because this one seems to have the most base oil pressure concerns. And that really affects the operation of the VCT system. It's very, very common actually. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to check it, where to tap in at, and what the oil pressure reading should be and when to check it, including the revised specs from Ford. So let's go over to the vehicle. I'll show you exactly where to tap in so we can get a nice, accurate reading. Now the place we're going to tap into for our oil pressure reading is on the oil filter adapter housing. So on the back side of the oil filter is the oil pressure sensor, and we're going to take that out and screw in our mechanical gauge and get a good reading that way. Um, what I do is I take out this... Um, splash guard right here and get it out of the way and you'll see why over here and under the vehicle you can see the oil pressure sensor right there um, but the splash guard can be in the way and you're going to want your hand up in there let me focus on that you're going to want your other hand up in there to help screw it in there uh, nice and straight on there so I get this guard right here out of the way we can do this much faster. Now in most cases, there's only two bolts uh, to get these out. One here and one over here. This one is eight mil, but most of them are 10 millimeter. So let's unscrew these and this whole thing will come right out of the way. Lift up, and it's gone. Okay, once that splash guard is out of the way, you can stick your hand up through here very easily now. And we can go ahead and press in the retainer on the connector here and just pull it off on there. Now, hopefully yours is facing the right way so you can get in there and squeeze it. But either way, with that splash guard out of the front here, um, just make it a lot easier. So we'll get the connector out of the way and make sure it's tucked away so it's not by the crankshaft or anything like that pulley and we're going to take off the sensor next now these generally don't corrode in here and have issues um, so you don't need another rust penetrant in general um, this is a 13 16 on here and if be careful to make sure you put it on here and you're unscrewing it that you unscrew it and don't cock the socket in there you can crack the connector on here so just be careful of that Go ahead and pull this out. Now what I use is a 13 16 deep well, a 3 8 universal, and then a three foot extension back to your ratchet there. And what I'll do is I'll come through this area right here, coming up into here. And that way you can get at it from there and hold on. Uh, hold your socket on on this side and it'll come out very easy. Now once you break torque on it, pretty much you could take it out by hand. At this point, um, get out of the way, do it by hand, and have a rag or a drain pan underneath it. It's going to drip a little bit, nothing too major. Okay, now the way I set up my adapter is just the standard end on your um, oil pressure gauge line here. So there's a union type piece that comes in the kit. And then I use this adapter right here that goes a half inch on there. I think that's pipe uh, plug threads on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this piece on here off of the vehicle. Okay, we're going to get it all tightened up. And you want to make sure you use thread sealing on here. And I'll link to all this stuff down below so you guys aren't lost in the dark here. Uh, I'll put some thread sealing on here all the way around because you don't want no leaks down there next to the exhaust and all that. Pressure's not too high, but still. So we'll put that on there and get these two, the hose and this union, um, all tightened up on here. Okay, so these two are nice and tight together. We're gonna go ahead. Um, these two pieces are right tight together too from before. Uh, being stored in there from the past testing these vehicles. So same thing Nice bead of thread sealing on there 
we can get some out of here. I'm running out of here. Make sure it's evenly around. We can go ahead and screw this into the port on the vehicle. Now a quick note before you go into there and start screwing this in, make sure you get your size for your hex on here. Uh, I think this one's 916. Yeah, it's 916. So make sure you have that sized up already. And then you can go ahead, put it up in there, and you're gonna you're gonna get it straight in there, and you're gonna turn the hose and everything all at once. And we'll get it tightened up by hand, and we can finish it with the wrench. Now once that fitting on there is nice and tight, we can go ahead and start routing the hose up into the engine compartment. You can see I have it routed a nice curve like that, no kinks. And then you go up and away into the engine compartment, avoiding any pulleys or hot exhaust manifolds or the steering shaft. Once the vehicle is started, come down here real quick and make sure there's no drips or spray coming out of here before anything gets too hot. Now, of course, your oil pressure light is going to be on in the cluster, and it's going to tell you, don't worry about it. The sensor is disconnected, and we are watching it manually on here. So just go ahead and watch it. Pay attention to your reading on there, and make sure there's no leaks from any of the connections. What we're going to do is we're going to wait until this is fully warmed up on here. So make sure the engine's fully warmed up. And at a hot idle and then we're gonna check uh, what the oil pressure reading is and compare it to spec now the original spec on here was 25 psi a hot idle Ford has now dropped it down to 15 psi is acceptable for hot idle and I can kind of uh, concur I've seen these systems run as low as 12 and the VCT system works just fine so I uh, think 15 is a good spec, but I'd rather, I'd rather see, you know, 25 or higher, obviously. So we'll come back to this once the vehicle heats up. Okay, the engine's at full operating temperature. We're in park at idle around 600 RPM, and we have around 30 PSI, so we're pretty good there. Now we're gonna check it in gear, reverse or drive, put in the brake. And we're gonna see what the actual pressure is, let's say, at a stoplight. We're just a little over 20, and we're not fully hot like a hot summer day, um, so we may drop down to 20 or 18, uh, worst case scenario. So this is right on the border of passing, and just fine according to Ford's new spec of 15 PSI. Before, they had us changing stuff out if it got below 25 PSI. So um, at this point, this engine does pass an oil pressure test. 